The federal government has responded to the recommendations of the Harper Review on competition law and policy. To discuss the response, we're joined today by Herbert smith Freehill's partner, Patrick Gay. Patrick, thank you for joining us. You're most welcome. Which recommendations from the Harper Review has the government supported? Well, ultimately, Harper came through with 56 recommendations. Of these, the government has supported 39 in full, 5 in part, and has at least noted another 12. So broadly speaking, the government has committed itself to new laws, new institutions, and the development of new policies. In respect of new laws, the government has agreed with Harper that the Australian Competition and Consumer Act is far too complex. It has recommended, or it accepts the recommendation, that there should be reforms to many provisions of the Act, including the prohibitions against cartel conduct and the associated joint venture defense. This is just one example of legislation which is overly complex, which leads to potential confusion for business and is perhaps overly broad and restricts conduct which is ultimately benign and in fact could be pro-competitive. So we look forward to the government making good on the Harper recommendations and its support of those recommendations. In terms of institutions, the government has agreed with Harper that there should be a new uh, po competition policy institution developed, that being the Australian Council for Competition Policy. It will replace the National Competition Council. It's clear that the NCC has passed its use-by date and the introduction and development of a new institution may give a little bit of a kick to get uh, competition policy and reform back on track in Australia. In terms of policy, again, the government has broadly accepted the Harper policy agenda. We can expect movements for reform in a variety of areas, including taxis, human services, road transport, and intellectual property. It's clear there that the agenda still needs to be fleshed out, and there will be lots of opportunity for weaving and changing over time, and a lot of these things will require state support, so it's not something which is just simply up to the federal government. And what's been left out? Well, the government didn't reject many, if any, things out of hand. However, it has deferred certain things, and for the act of, by deferring those things, you might think that the government is less certain about those reforms. Uh, of key interest to the business community has been the Harper suggestions in respect of the misuse of market power provisions, section 46 of the act. Um, in essence, the Harper recommended the introduction of effects test to Section 46. This has been a highly controversial, perhaps the most controversial of the competition law recommendations. Here the government has deferred a decision. It is said that it will introduce uh, or release a discussion paper shortly and there will be another round of comment with an ultimately the, the government making its decision of what it intends to do about Section 46 sometime in March of next year. Um, in addition, broadly speaking, the government has rejected the Harper recommendations regarding reform to the ACCC as an institution. Uh, one recommendation, recommendation involved hiving off the access pricing powers of the ACCC and creating a new specialist access and pricing regulator. Um, there's been a deferral on that decision. Also in terms of the basic structure of the ACCC, um, the government has rejected Harper recommendations regarding the appointment of part-time commissioners, um, the appointment of commissioners or recommendations against the appointment of commissioners focused on particular areas such as small businesses. Um, it also um, disagrees with Harper and thinks that the ACCC should retain broad powers or powers around market inquiries. So it seems like the ACCC has done a pretty good job uh, of convincing the government that its overall structure should remain uh, as it presently is. Um, in terms of the institutions, sorry, in terms of the policy changes, certain things have been deferred there as well. Uh, one old chestnut in Australia has been about reform in the pharmacy uh, sector, pharmacy businesses. Uh, that decisions about whether or not there should be any changes around rules regarding the number of pharmacies, who can own pharmacies, where they're located, etc., are deferred until 2017. It's also clear that there won't be reform anytime soon in the areas around um, sea and air cabotage. Where has the government come down on merger review? Well, the government agrees with Harper that the formal merger clearance process needs to be reformed and we will look forward to those developments and changes. It may actually mean that formal merger clearance is a viable option for merging parties in Australia. In addition, the government has agreed with Harper 
that merging parties should no longer be able to go directly to the Australian Competition Tribunal for merger authorization. That is, in effect, merger clearance on public benefit grounds. This was widely expected, however, it is a disappointing development. The Australian Competition Tribunal has proved itself recently that it's well able to handle merger authorization applications in the first instance. The development of a two-step process will result in additional time, potentially additional time, additional delay, and ultimately could result in mergers which are pro-competitive or at least have public benefits uh, not going ahead. What happens next? Well, um, both the lawyers and business the business community will be waiting with bated breath for the introduction or the um, release of the discussion paper in section 46 and we'll see another flurry, I, I guess, of submissions and activity around the appropriateness of the effects tests. More broadly in terms of the competition law reforms, we'll be looking forward to the introduction of of um, draft legislation and will be given and a timetable to comment on that draft legislation so there'll be lots of activity in that space in the next coming months also and because a lot of the policy reforms will involve the commitment of the states it will be interesting to see how quickly the government the federal government engages in the states with the states on those developments including the negotiation of a new competition principles agreement i think overall it's a very big agenda uh, lots of things for lots of people to do, and it'll be interesting to see what, if any, things move from the realm of policy to actual concrete legislation before the next federal election. Thank you for your time today. You're most welcome.